Hey, I got, what do you think it is? Uh, 52 78. Windows. What? There's, there's people praying right in there. Can they hear me? The Mount of the Beatitudes. Uh, you know what the Beatitudes are? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Matthew chapter five. Jesus teaches. You can see it inscripted everywhere here. It's on plaques and stones and everything is written down. Here's what it says. It says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. A lot of people right inside that window right there. The Pope actually came here and read out of Matthew chapter four. There were a hundred thousand people from the Catholic Church that came here to listen to him read that scripture that I just read. And it's definitely got a massive church here on this location. Yes. Our pastors got together, Pastor Matt Mosler, gosh, son. But it's so bright and yellow. Pastor Matt Mosler just taught us for a little bit about what it means to be blessed or the meek and the poor. As you guys are walking around a foreign country like Israel, what would you do if you saw somebody that, you Arkansas people, if you saw somebody that had an Arkansas Razorback jacket? I mean, if we saw somebody from home, if we saw somebody with an Arkansas, and I used to live, uh, in Europe for several years and and we were walking through an airport or something I would see somebody that would look like home and you would go right up to them you know and if I see somebody with an Arkansas in fact when I was in London not too long ago we were in a in, in one of the cathedrals there and I somebody had a had a hog shirt up and and we we went right up to them we started we became fast friends if I see somebody like that and they got an Arkansas shirt on, I'm coming up to them but they may be tall <laughs> they may be black they may be a Democrat they may not like to hunt or fish. We may have nothing in common other than this common connection that we have. But I think first Jesus sees this assembled crowd and looks over to this group over here and he says, blessed are you, the poor. I mean, these folks, blessed are you who have nothing. Maybe, maybe they're embarrassed, they're desperate. They realize this great need that they have for someone to save them. And Jesus says, bless you poor people over here. You know what? The kingdom of heaven belongs to people just like you. And, and then he looks over and he sees this other group. And these are someone who have lost someone dear to them or maybe something that was very valuable to them. And he says, look, I know that you've lost something. I know you're brokenhearted, but you know what? You will be comforted. What are you to do? What am I to do with my power, with my position, with my possessions? And I wonder if there was some in the crowd that day that, that were just like me and they were wondering the same thing. I mean, perhaps they began to look at the crowd that had assembled around Jesus and they began to, they see that these groups are all different. And then they begin to realize that perhaps maybe we're more alike than we thought. I mean, after all, we were all seeking the same thing, or maybe we were all seeking the same person. How will you be a blessing to others? How will you use whatever gift or talent or ability or treasure that you have been given to show those around you that Jesus is real and that every person in this gathering has value? This church building was built in 1939 by the Franciscan sisters, and it is pretty incredible. It looks amazing, but it's really better to, to come here and to sit and to get alone with God and just to, to, to pray. I don't know if you could see it, but way, hang on, yep, yeah. Right, right over there is the Sea of Galilee. So this is all right where Jesus did most of his ministry. And remember, it's really close. Like this stuff is not far apart. It's just a short bus ride or a day's walk. Grace walking might sound like an oxymoron, but these athletes walk faster than most people run. But that's the Sea of Galilee right there behind us. What? There's, there's people praying right in there. Can they hear me? There's no way to, no way to tell. Oh.